Good morning. It's freezing and I'm tired. Um, yeah, we're all packed up. Let's go. We're just outside Whitehaven. We're on the C2C route. Um, I'll give you a proper update when it gets lighter. Yo, the sun's starting to come up. It's the coast to coast challenge, but with a bit of a twist. We've got to do it today. More twists. We're using a hundred pound bike that I bought off a friend who bought off Gumtree, second, second hand. And um, while I was on it yesterday, the wheel buckled. So we got a buckled wheel as well. And all this weight, but I'm just saying. Um, so there's a big day ahead of us. The, the other twist as well is it's COVID-19. You can't take public transport. We cycled up here all the way from Manchester, which is 140 miles already. Um, but that was in over over a day and a half. So if you want to watch that video of how we got here, the adventure of, of getting here in the first place, this is day three, um, two nights in the tent, um, you can watch that video. So it's it'll be entertaining, I'm sure. Bikes broke down. This road now for the last half hour. And feel like a proper idiot. But, oh, this has been hell. Thank God. Finally, this this is nearly over. Miss sunset, sadly. You know where I'm gonna camp. Here comes the sun. Ten past eight. We've done about 28, 29 kilometers. Just had the first break of the day. Stunning. You've got the road all to yourself. Just absolutely flying and gliding around the Lake District. It's been amazing. Long may it continue. So it's it's, it's felt great. It's felt pretty ecstatic. But I wonder, I wonder when the agony, when the agony is going to come. I'm in Winlatter Forest Park. It's quite a steep, tough climb up here. But just know that if all goes well today, this is actually the easiest climb of the day. Half past nine, we're in Keswick. It's too noisy round here now, out of the peace and quiet, but coming out of, of Winlatter on that descent down to Keswick was was a lot of fun running out of woods to say um, it's been gliding through the through the through the hills, gliding. It's proper mint, rolling down the hills and that proper mint that's out there. Now do I carry on down the A road to Penrith to get there quicker and put up with the noise or do I do the cycle route 71 for as long as I can um, but it's going to take a lot longer and it might it might be a bit more hilly um, so I'm sure of my next move I'm just going to have a bit of a think get back on C to C <sighs> Jeez, it's getting really tough now psychologically. Tough on the old arse as well. See, this seat and all is really driving me crazy. <sighs> oh, dearie me. Morale boost galore. We arrived at Penrith at 12 o'clock, dead on. Bicycle shop, I've been here before. Said, can you do some emergency work on a buckled wheel? Um, they said, yeah, pop it round, so I've just took it in. Hopefully, if that can be done in the next half an hour, we'll easily make that ground up. 
So it's quarter past one now. I've had eight new spokes fit fitted, so no longer buckled. Really excited to see how this bike is going to perform. Ready to get back on the road. Also, I might even buy my train ticket for tomorrow, seven in the morning, just because I'm feeling that confident. Train ticket back home. See that big hill? You've got to climb over that. Coming up next. It's 10 past two. We're just outside Melma Bay. We've got a massive climb, climb right now up Heartside Summit. I reckon it'll be an hour of just psh, psh, psh. so we're gonna we're gonna fuel up here and then we're gonna we're just gonna brave it i'm gonna buy that train ticket now shut up shut up i'm gonna buy that train ticket now because i know when i get up there i'm gonna be two shut up shut up i'm gonna be two um probably demoralized so I better get that train ticket whilst I'm feeling moralised and up for it. There we go. Ten past three. So it's pretty much took us an hour dead on to get to the top. Feeling quite proud of myself because I think it's the first time I've done a climb like that without getting off the bike once. Yeah, just slow and steady. Take your time. Still a lot of work to do, but that's the hardest part over. Let's go. The hills of the north. <sighs> We're in this stunning town of Alston, which apparently is the world's first ever social enterprise town. Whatever that means, eight miles of just smooth sailing. Incredible descent, wind blowing in your face or on your helmet. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm running out of words to say. Again, it was proper mint. It was good. It was, it was good. Good as descent. Yeah, coming up into Alston as well, you can maybe hear him. I see him on that bandstand there. Uh, there's a there's a family of four people, and they're playing brass brass music. It was beautiful to to hear that. And just stand there and close my eyes and and have a listen. It's a shame I can't stay here all day and listen to him. There you go. You can hear. Um, we must we must plod on. Um, but, what a nice stop off. Yeah, saying that though, if you can't listen to him for five seconds, play the music without these, these beeping, loud cars driving past every few seconds. about hills of the north never ends so this is the sign the sign that we're going to have a real good time right down was was really good it was good um, it, was, it was a wonderful glide a proper rush a proper adrenaline rush the, the roads were crazy like licorice like licorice in a goldy, goldy, golden candy floss um, landscape. Candy floss hills. Right, this is the bit I've been dreading all day. It's like quarter to seven, I'm in Stanhope. I should have been here at about six o'clock ideally but it's just another massive climb the last climb of the day it's like three or four in one day oh and so late on as well and i'm so knackered climbing over thank goodness 
that's it. Looks like we failed the challenge. It's too too far away. So close. Yet so far. We've come a long way. Blah blah blah. Um so yeah, I need to start thinking places we're gonna gonna spend the night. So yeah, a bit bit gutted. It was always gonna be ambitious. But it's about it's not about the destination, it's it's about the journey and and we had one heck of a journey. Only joking! Um, you're forgetting I've got my helmet cam and I've got some thermal socks that I use as gloves. Perfect for the night time. There's a road up there as well, no traffic. So night time, there's no street lights, there's no lights on my bike. So it's, it's going to be pretty safe because there's no cars about. I reckon we can do it. We might not do the coast to coast challenge in one day, but we'll do it in one day and one night. All on the same date, whatever date it is today. So it's not over yet. Let's go. Right, I'm just outside. Concert. I don't really know what why I'm doing this anymore. It's dark now. Still got a way to go. Just need to stick my helmet cam. Oh, this is stupid. Helmet light, helmet torch, not helmet cam. What am I on about? Don't know why I'm still following this stupid Route 7. It's in people's back gardens anyway. Anyway, this route, proper urban. Knowing what folk are like, people are thinking trying to burgle them. Burgling them in the back gardens. Watch it, keep your eye out. Someone's riding around with a big torch on his head. I've been looking people's gardens. Keep an eye out, community watch. Watch out, folk. Good grief. It's 10 to 10. There's a premiere in there. <sighs> this is absolute disaster. And here is the sea. Good to see you. Ah! Right, that's enough see I can't believe I actually did it such such a a mixed such a melee of emotions right now I think it's like 10 past 11 at night oh, I just need to sit back and have a have a, have a bit of a break for a minute It's the day after we're at York train station. We made a seven in the morning train. I told you I'd make it. And it's quarter past nine now. We should be back in Manchester in a couple of hours. Come on. In terms of feelings, now this is done. Just feeling relieved. But to be honest, I never thought that I'd actually be able to cycle the coast to coast in, in, in the same day. Um, but we did it. Um, but main feeling is relief. Feeling rough as toast. But we're nearly home. Get me there. Get me there.